Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Godan. It's been a few days. Um, but it's time to say hello to the DOT community. Hey, greetings Shooter McGavin. Hey, thanks for uh, jumping in. Appreciate it. Hey Darren Sammy, good evening. Good morning, good day. Appreciate you jumping on. If y'all don't know, Shooter McGavin has a YouTube channel as well. He is subscribing to the free to play, free to play way in the Legend League. Good stuff to show you how to do it without uh, spending a lot of money or no money at all. With this event, that we're looking at it's a little uh, a little testy when you think about it as a free-to-play player um, I've used up quite a few gems I've used all the gems I'm going to on this event hey so fetch there he is yeah yeah and uh, I got as far as I could I think I got to a little bit over 10,000 and now I'm on the long grind to try to finish this up so this event, as everyone's seen from all the videos that everyone's put out, it offers some good stuff. It offers some really good relics, a couple epic tokens. So uh, <clears throat> this is something that if you are free to play, you might want to choose to go as far as you can um, and possibly either save up your tokens or use them in this event to get some of these relics. Hey, Jason Jerome. Cheers, man. Because that first epic token is not... Uh, not too bad. It's only 11,000 uh, souls, but that gets you a four-star infiltrator nexus, elephant infiltrator. And it also, <laughs> for those of you, as uh, Sofesh just said, some people can uh, skip the victory dance at the end and move on. They have the new update, the 1.22 update, which offers the Titan Pantheon and a few other changes. If you take a look at a uh, one of the videos I posted today it shows some of the images from the Titan Pantheon, which I do not have. But for free-to-play players, the event uh, is pretty good. It's a pretty good event for relics. Also, possible chance of getting Titans. But looking at the leaderboard, there's been some. Uh, hey, Bella Rose, Bella Rose, good to have you. It's been a long time. It's been a struggle. So fetch, that's a good con. That's a really good comment. It's been brought out on Facebook that some folks who have the uh, update, the 1.22 update, that offers the chance to skip the victory dance at the end, offers the uh, Titan Pantheon, also shows that the event relics are back to the old school relics where they have more than eight, eight uh, uses. So it seems like there are some folks who are having different options as to how far they can go in the event based on uh, their update and the relics that they get. There's been still a lot of complaints about people getting uh, one-star relics and not getting too far um, in the event. So it is a struggle. Bella Rose, is that 6K souls? That's not bad, Bella Rose. You're getting there. Hey, Mukesh. Glad to have you, man. Definitely glad to have you. This uh, event, like I said, I used up uh, about 20,000 gems to get me up to about 10,000 uh, 10, souls. And that was uh, with the fortune of pulling three three stars. But um, it's definitely a grind at this point to try to get this through. And that's why I've been hearing a lot too, Bella Rose. Um, a lot of folks have been pulling like six one stars in a row. And that's quite a few one stars um, getting six in a row. That is no fun. Because uh, it takes at least two relics if you're pulling ones and twos to get you know anywhere upwards of a thousand souls or anywhere close to that. So it's it's challenging when um, when you're not getting any good pulls. I don't know of anyone getting any uh, three stars at this time. Or excuse me, any four stars at this time. So it's it's a really it's a really hard push right now. So, so fetch. 
has a has a YouTube channel as well. Does some live streaming, and uh, has the pleasure of having the new update. And says that one and two stars seem to be more prevalent right now as polls. I'm hoping they'll do the three star guaranteed drops again, which we haven't seen in a very long time since the old events. If they did that, that'd offer us all a chance to really kick some butt. Because although this event is only 20,000 uh, souls, which isn't too bad, it's still a little bit of a struggle. Especially, like I said, I used 20,000 souls without grinding just for the event relics and only got me to about 10,000. So I wasn't too pleased with that. Someone posted on BAM that they got a 4 star. Nice. I, I missed it. I didn't see that. I've been in and out of a daze with uh, allergies. Allergies are killing me. But uh, it looks like in the event, the main event teams are still on top right now. Doing what they do best and that's doing the events. Um, yeah, I'm rolling with Edelis. Edelis is what, level 55 now? Um, wasn't maxed out to level 56 for my uh, ta uh, castle level. I've now hit level 50, uh, castle level 15. I'm doing all my uh, gold storages and starting my food storages. Trying to rock it through up to level, I think it's uh, level 18 or 19. Whichever lets me max out my titans. That's why I'm going to stop for a minute and try to get a better army together. But with this event, I know everyone's been grinding away. It was a, a, a four-day event. It required quite a few battles if you're just grinding to get this done. Um, you know, 5,000 souls a day. If you don't have the boost, that's 500 battles a day. And that can be uh, hard to accomplish. Oh, what's that? So, Fetch, with the, with the, with the good news... You can't see the Titan's element on the uh, castles any longer with the new update. So you can no longer look at the castle and, and have an idea of what you're going against. It's all a blind guess now, huh? Interesting. Hey, Born Scubby Don. Welcome, welcome. Born's in the house. So this update's really changing the game quite a bit, making it much more challenging. Um, I got to tell you guys. You still see the class, but not the element. Well, that 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 does no good, man. I think I'd well, I guess that does some good, but I'd, I having it, knowing both is what you need. Just knowing as a guardian, it's it's you know you got five five options of what you're going against. It's kind of hard to come in prepared. It's making it so you got to lose one before you can win one. We don't want to do that trade off. I gotta tell you, with this update. It has definitely uh, become more challenging uh, to uh, take on some harder battles. It, it's been a uh, really, really challenging. Although I did uh, record some videos using uh, Ladega and, and and cats, of course, it's a good way for. Uh, there's still some kiting available. It's just not as great as it was before. Depending on what sort of base you're going against. Are we in the same league? Uh, I don't know. I forgot who I'm with. I think I'm with... Uh, I think I'm with Log, right? I don't know. We can check. I don't, I don't know if we're in the same league. We were last season. I don't know about this season. See, this, this is what I'm talking about, man. What, what what just happened? I lost all my... Yeah, I'm with PE. That's what it is. And if you guys just saw that blast, Edelis fired way off to the left. I've been noticing that Rangers have been doing a lot of odd, a lot of odd shots, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with uh, NT Rogue Squad, but I guess we are against a uh, public enemy right now. 
I don't know because we're not shooting to get you know first place. We're only going for the top thirteen. I haven't really looked. Uh, we're in the top thirteen. I think we're what eight or seven. So the leader, yeah, public enemy. Uh, Phoenix War. No, we're not with you guys because you would be up there right now. Yeah, we're in eighth place. We're not doing bad. So uh, having the event, it, it helps um, get the uh, minimum VP is a one mil minimum VP required. So being able just to uh, speed raid lands helped me uh, help me hit my one mil because I haven't been playing that much. I've been really taking it easy. I know my uh, you know Rogue Squad members don't see me on that often. But there's always a lot of stuff going on. Looking forward to having a vacation soon. and uh, Doing some DOT, but enjoying my family as well. So we got 13 people on, on with us right now. Definitely appreciate all 13 of you. I know your time is important and valuable and precious. I know there weren't quite a, quite a few streams today for uh, the event. People are busy or doing stuff. But out of the people who are on here... So right now we know that uh, So Fetch has the update. Does anyone else have the update? Because I'm telling you, man, I'm looking forward to the update. I really want the update. And the update's talking about uh, Anchor and Lands as well here real soon. It's like an all-new DLT one more time. So Fetch, it looks like you're the only one who's got the update, man. They did say that they're rolling it out slowly. And they've given it to 10% of the players. All on Android. There should be no iOS players uh, with the update yet. Yeah, I was hoping I'd, I was hoping I'd get it today. You know, I'm kind of kind of jelly of seeing all the pantheons and seeing the relics that come with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all set up for automatic update now. I used to have it turned off of automatic update because I didn't like. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I didn't want the update and I'd wait, but uh, now I just take the update. There aren't many lands. Uh, hey, a friend from the other side, from Russia. Thanks for joining. I gotta get a translator. If anyone could translate, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, there aren't a lot of baby lands. It's a little bit of a struggle right now trying to uh, find lands to raid, but here we go. Stick with this. Your wife is Russian, nice. My wife has a lot of Russian, uh, Ukrainian, Yugoslavian friends, so she's been picking up a little bit of the language. I'm not very good with it. Yeah. What, what, Smirnoff? Absolute. Good stuff. So I'm going with a militia. I'm going cheap. I'm losing troops. That's the one thing about this, uh, the newest update. Always losing troops with, uh, with the battles. Smirnoff. Yeah, real good stuff. Hey, TDR. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Very cool. I do feel bad that I haven't uh, done a stream in a few days. Uh, I don't really particularly feel the need to stream a uh, a sale, a temple sale. But man, I just can't pull anything from the temple, I tell you. Uh, you know, the Calvarax thing, the Calvarax issue that has occurred... Um, that no one expected. Man, 
it's really crazy that Calvarax is so OP right now. I'm stoked. Hey, hey. I'm stoked, Fesh, because I found uh, my blood vial. I did not uh I did not fuse it away. It was a three star, so I kept it. So I've been working on uh getting my blood vial leveled up. Cause I'm gonna be like everyone else, man. I'm just gonna go in there with uh all my raised de dead spells that I pick up <laughs> in my blood vial. Yeah. TDR, hello, hello, hello. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, Anubis, it's hard to find any peepees, you know. It's a it's a big struggle right now. I've noticed that a lot of a lot of uh some bigger players are hitting the open lands. I'm not leaving anything open, man. They're not reciprocating. Making it difficult. Definitely making it difficult. But who is this? Shark Sand? Okay, cool. They must have hit me, so this is going to be an easy one to find. You max your three star today? It only gives me one? I was hoping for more than that. I was definitely hoping for a lot more than that. Oh, right on. Right on. Hey, guys, I got to step away for just one moment. Okay, here we go. That's what happens when I step away. Oh, I won. Nice. The four star relic gives you three. Yeah, I'm definitely going for this Krothos. Um, I think everyone needs to get this Krothos with this guaranteed skills. This is the first Titan. Oh yeah, this is the first Titan, by the way, where they showed us the skills that we're gonna get. And uh, this fire and ice coming in there with your imps and grenadiers behind them, I think it's gonna be awesome. I think I actually attacked the base like this. There was a early release somehow. Uh, someone supposedly pulled one of these Krothos from the temple and posted it on YouTube. And I tell you, I think I hit one of the lands that had a Krothos like that because I could not beat it. And I was like, how come these imp how come how come these grenadiers are just cutting me down? It was the most craziest thing. So I do think they're gonna be really good for uh Defense, but I don't know how it, I don't know how it's gonna play out on offense. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Hey, Drew. I haven't used the Berserker uh, since my mesh, so um, er, you know, whenever I stop using a particular troop type, I get a uh, get a little rusty. You know what I mean? So I'm a little rusty with uh, Berserkers. Not sure that I'm gonna get what I think I'm gonna get if I go with uh Krothos on offense. So I'm looking more forward to uh getting Krothos and putting him on my garrison. I think he's gonna be awesome for defense. Let's get back here. So fetch. By the way, I think besides the fact that skeletons are invincible against panthers, players are saving on troops because of the spells. That's another great point, man. Exactly what you said about losing troops. Yeah, I'm losing too many troops, man. Um, that's the thing. I, I I think it's really good that we do lose troops. Uh, and it's harder to solo a battle. It makes this game much more uh, realistic in a way. Bella Rose, you should do it. Do the same thing. Because uh, when you have the casualties of war, and you got to always be re-upping or training your troops, it, it slows down the pace of the game. Hey, Game Rescue. Good to have you, man. It slows down the pace of the game unless you're willing to use gems to uh, heal your troops or you know generate troops, which I don't think you know many of us do that. I think I have heard some do that, but I never, uh, I never rush my troops or heal them. Too many gems. That that just too costly. 
<laughs> Panthers get in the way of the skeletons doing the damage. Nice. I just I haven't had the pleasure, man. I, I'm saving all my uh, raised dead spells right now uh, for a rainy day. Um, <laughs> when I have about 20 of them, I might try using them in a battle or two. Man, these are uh, these big guys. Because you have to be what level 20? What level do you have to be before you can uh, generate your own raised dead spells? I think you got to be level, uh, castle level 20, right? 21. Yes, yeah, he said so the raised dead spell is like quite valuable. Before there were throwaway spells, uh, people would definitely waste them. I'm not, I'm not wasting them anymore. I may start putting them on my garrison because, uh, using, uh, terror spells for defense, I don't think is good, good anymore. So fetch, I am currently making a video about the Titan getting in the way of troops doing damage to enemy units. Cool, man. Please do and share that, man. Definitely share that. Titans getting in the way. Children getting in the way. Everything's getting in the way, man. You use a ton of panthers and it drives you crazy. What drives me crazy if I'm not always continually training my troops, all of a sudden I'm like, man, I'm my barracks are empty and I'm stuck. I think that's what really hurts right now. Cause every battle, you like I only saved one troop. I know I'm only using militia and these are what level sixteen lands, but I should be doing better than this. So I think I'm going to uh, just go in with three, a um, couple terrors, try this a little differently. So yeah, I've been trying to get my, I, right now I'm down to 230 raids needed a day uh, to get this uh, event completed. Just trying to slowly plug through. It has been a uh, been challenging. Yeah, my kids keep coming in and out, man. Should have locked the door. Gotta love them though. So now I know everyone here has uh, seen Infinity Wars, right? Everyone's seen it by now. Hey, FL. Good to have you, man. Yeah, man. If you if you don't switch out your event relic, you just wasted three stones. You know, that really that really is not cool, man. That's the that's the one thing I've been trying to make sure when I did have my uh, when I was using the event relics, I was making sure that I hit all easy lands. I wasn't even messing messing with trying to lose a battle. But yeah, the Infinity Wars, man. If everyone's seen it, we can talk about it. But if everyone hasn't seen it, can't talk about it. I'm looking forward to the next one. I was uh, quite taken aback and surprised by the whole thing. Did not expect what I saw. Hey, District 13. The Smasher. Good to have you, man. You just saw it last night. Yeah. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. It's a good flick. I don't think it's uh, what most people expected from uh, the Marvel franchise. Yeah, mind blown. Yeah, my mind was blown, man. I was like, what? And it was like without let up, man. Didn't give up. Hey, Steven Galvis. Good to have you. 
Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. I feel bad. I didn't check on band to see if anybody else was streaming. It seemed like a quiet day. But, you know, lots of people like to have a good stream going on in the background so they can get it done. This is working a little bit better, man, using only three troops, saving some. If these were real lands, this would never work. It'd be a little bit more of a struggle. Nice, nice shooter. You're going to be doing the Late Night King show. Awesome, man. Awesome. Scubby Don going to check it out tomorrow. Ooh. I guess I didn't need to do that, huh? He was only level one. Do you see how much damage those Grenadiers did? I just lost three troops, man. Gosh. Yeah, you're so right, Fetch. It is hard to find time, man. I said I'm trying to be balanced. That's why I've been playing a little less. Uh, definitely enjoying with with Rogue Squad, uh, not having that, that grind for smacking that VP. It's a little bit reasonable, man. It's tough week after week. You know, I don't know how those uh, LOG guys do it. You know, much respect. Um, they're at a mad pace, man. They're at a mad pace. I never I don't worry about copyright. I've I've never gotten a copyright strike. The only thing they say is you can't make any monies. I don't make any monies anyway. So it it, it don't matter. It don't matter. Oh yeah, man. It's hard to play. I can't play at work either. I might, you know, be able to get one or two raids in every once in a while. But to sit down and... When it's an event, man, you got to sit down and you got to, like, sit down. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sorry, babe. No, I've taken care of this, that, and that, and that. I just need, like, three hours, four hours. I just need to go straight at it. That's the only way to get it done, man. If you can't go straight at it, you're never going to get through it. You can't just attack, you know, seven or eight times every every two two and a half hours. <laughs> Drew Little, you're taking taking time off of work. I'm hoping to have some more gems saved up by the time uh by the time uh that happens, Odin comes out. Now that we know he's not coming out for a while, I just hope they don't have too many uh events in between. Exactly, Fetch. I try to squeeze out a video uh, on my lunch break. I get an hour lunch. Hour lunch is a little too long. Can't always do it, but I do try. I do try. Yeah, this this uh, Krothos has crazy skills, man. Game Rescue broke it down real nice in his video. I definitely appreciated it. I don't know if I left a comment, Rescue. Vintage, I don't know if I did, but I will. I'll go back. The breakdown showing how uh, this new ex-guild uh, Krothos, the armor piercing and damage that he provides is unsurmountable compared to the old one. It's awesome. Um, I have no relics saved up. 
I used uh, the four that came with the event. And I used, uh, what, 20,000 gems, man. So I used, I used quite a few, and that only got me to about 10,000. Yeah, it was an excellent video, Rescue Vintage. Definitely appreciate it. I don't have time to... Uh, the you know, the developer's live stream is always when I'm working, so I can't uh, I can't watch, man. I can't watch. I can't even have it in the background, you know. It's uh during my busy time of my morning, so uh, when someone could do a decent recap of it, I really appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, this is got to check it out, Fetch. Got to check it out. But I I think the developers um. You know, it's hard to say uh, vintage if they're checking out your stuff. They probably are. I think they check out a lot of uh, DOT YouTuber stuff because they're interested. They're truly interested in what's going on with the community, what the community wants, uh, what the community thinks about their game. Because without the community, they don't. They have no game. You know, it, it's it's just a fact. So they're looking at trying to do things for us that we want to have done, and just to overall improve the game, the game, and the you know the gaming experience. So I think the changes that they're implementing is getting the game more aligned to, I think, with their original idea for the game. <laughs> and I don't know, Fetch. I don't that's how that's how I used to feel, man. That's how I, I used to feel. I'm like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get banned one day. I never haven't been, I've never been banned. I will not be banned, man. District 13, they need better rewards in the Legends League so big teams stay up there. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they need to re revamp the reward system. That is for sure. Um, that's for sure, man. Because even though they changed up some of the Titans uh, that are available now in, in the uh, reward system, it's still not as good as it could be. And for everyone who grinds and does what they do, I wouldn't be satisfied, man. Because I don't want to have all food. I want to have some Titans that are new and some Keepers. <laughs> don't drink and die. Yeah. Nah, man. It's just allergies. Allergies. Today's been rough, man. This week's been rough. Right now, right now in sunny California, it's like windy like crazy. So the pollen and dust. I live in the city of trees, man. It's called the city of trees because there's so many trees. And uh, woo. If you never had allergies, you'll get them once you move here. I gotta find some more easy lands, man. What is this? It's a lot of troops. Uh, I, I guess I can take this. Yeah, I got the same allergies. Yeah, man, it's it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week. What was this? I missed I missed some good chat. What was that, man? Game rescue. You, you did a week with one thousand three hundred attacks, seventeen million VP. You got a vol stand. Yeah, that hurts. Seventeen million VP. Wow, man, that's like triple. That's like triple my best. Uh, my best. That's triple my best. My best was like six mil, right about six mil. That's nuts. <laughs> this bet is grinding and drinking. Come on, let's get these guys. I'm trying to save me some troops. I'm going cheap. Better not cost me a battle, man. I got I don't got time to lose battles. Oop. Nice. There we go. So what do you guys how do you guys feel about oh man? How do you guys feel about the uh, fact that the ranged troops now target everything? Are you guys adverse to that or do you do you like that? I think it's great for defense. Hey, 
Delmino, thanks for joining. And that's a really good comment, man. Grinding is awful, but made worse by having to pay to grind. Yeah, some people. I don't know when you when when you pay uh, pay and you get relics and you get nothing but one stars. It it does hurt, man. It does hurt. It's hard to say that it's not pain it, it, that it isn't painful, but it happens to most most uh, most players. We gotta zoom in, guys. We gotta find some uh, some meat. Let's see what we got. I love to go back to my typical haunts. See if they open up. Uh. Here we go. Here we go. Make some videos from their big gear since two for tonight. You already beat one million, uh, one seven million mesh from Clint. You're going at it, man. Nice job. Big 13. Nice job, man. Vintage, your top VP for a week is 21 million. You're a monster, man. You are a monster. That's in some incredible stuff. I mean, did you sleep? <laughs> did you, uh, how? There must have been some fat VP lands in that league, man. For you to pull some stuff like that. That is too cool. I forgot about those troops over there. That's okay. Yeah, game rescue is Dom power status for sure. You know, I was just uh, a, you know, District, you, you opened up that new uh, line group, and someone was talking about shaving and, uh, you know, why pick on the little guys. And it's true, man. Shaving and capping is a part of the game. If you can't take it, you know, you might have to go find some place you could farm because when it comes down to battling, getting the VP bonus is, is essential to, to winning. There's no doubt about it. There's just no doubt about it. You got to... Uh, you got to shave. And what what I think a lot of players forget is that all lands, even resource lands, give you bonus VP when you cap and if you cap and they deplete. So that's one thing to remember. If you can find any land that has one, you know, one resource left, cap it. You're going to get 4,000, 5,000 additional VP. Plus whatever resources in that little bit of VP you already get. So, so fetch free to play is is way cheaper. Yes, it is free to play is way cheaper, but the trade off is no social life. That is true. If you are free to play and you're trying to compete, you will never get out your door. So you like to change vintage. Uh, where the troops are targeting stuff. I do too. It is a lot more realistic. I think it also has changed the game so that it requires us to use uh, all the troop types, not just one troop type. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, we can all definitely just play with one troop type. But some battles require a mixture of troops to get it accomplished. And this this little this little Titan getaway. Here we go. Range target on offense is full potato. <laughs> what do you mean? So District Thirteen has helped you to think of a way to beat Mesh. If you don't change it, I will still be hitting them before the new AI. We'll be hitting them before the new AI. Now you run through them. Nice, man. Nice. You wouldn't be hitting them before the new eye, but now you can go through them. Nice. Yeah, different strategy, man. 
Got to have that different strategy. So, Fetch, you're on the Odin train and the wall's going back into the pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might be an occasional, you know, expense, but can't do it every event, man. Adventure said, lots of raids and some island farming. That's the way to do it. What's that Joker Brain District? District made uh, One Vision's leader cry for the video on how you beat his Mimesh. Oh man, I hope not. Nasir, hello, hello. Cap the bonus lands, cap the bonus lands. <laughs> what? Some guy keeps posting new pics of girls? Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Pantheon, Pantheon, I don't know. Ice water, I don't know. I'm not privy to that information. Um, we know that they're working on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking about Odin. No, the Pantheon is released, man. It is released to uh, to some players. It's a slow release. It's to Android players first. 10% of the gaming population has it at this time. And they're just checking it for bugs, and we'll, re we'll continue releasing it. Yeah, 10% have it now. Uh, it's not has not been released for iOS players as of yet. iOS will be coming out next. Game Rescue. The real trick to high VP is to exploit the uh, time difference. Yeah. You catch them when their lands are full. Easy pickings, man. Easy pickings. Garrisons for rankings. Yep, ever since the change, you only take away the enemy's VP if you hit the garrisons. So you gotta hit garrisons. Yeah, hopefully in the next few days, uh, many more of us will get the uh, update. But there's a lot of changes with the update, not just getting the Pantheon. So it's really interesting. Maybe this weekend, maybe through next week. <laughs> Titan, yeah. yeah. I hate when they walk in on me. Okay, so the deal to please channel is to keep the big alliances from coming down to Masters and destroying other teams. Yeah, that's never fun. I noticed that there are quite a few uh, big alliances <laughs> that have dropped to a lower league just to severely dominate, man. Rebel says range doesn't target closest automatically if more than one unit is in range. It gets you run over. I think you gotta. I think you. I think you must target some. You gotta. You gotta target some of your troops yourself. You can't always rely on the auto targeting. I've been noticing that with the ranger. Um, if I don't select the troops, sometimes I feel he he makes a bad choice. Puts me in a compromising position, if you know what I mean. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, I don't want to hit that man. It's like a level 28, level 20. Looking for the baby lands. Come on, man. Show some love. What's up with teams disappearing in one server and then showing up again? I don't know. I think that's like last week when they had uh, booted non-toxic. It's odd what's been going on, you know. People are saying that they're cleaning out hackers. But as we know, there are no hackers in non-toxic and nobody was removed. So us to have been affected in that last event and not getting Matano in the top 50, straight bummer. But it is odd. It definitely is odd. It's happening a lot. Why not using pikes for fast raid? Eh. 
Because I've been losing troops and the honest reason is that I just hit level, castle level 15. And I'm saving up my food for uh, my researches. Researches and for upgrading my relics. So I'm going cheap on the troops right now. And I've only got to do 230 raids a day. And if I get some extra raids in, I'm not behind on my schedule. So I should be okay in this year. But as soon as I can, I'm going to be upgrading my troops. I don't want to fall behind. I have a particular system that I use to keep me right on track with uh, my castle upgrades. Alright, Drew. Get back to grinding, man. No, uh, no Matano, man. They're, they're, we got the same thing that everyone else got. The, uh, little, the little, uh, light bottle or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, a few portal stones. Yeah, that's it, man. Nah, I just topped off my, uh, it's not hard to get, you just gotta, you just gotta be persistent, man. You don't gotta use 100%, 80%, 30%, you know. Rangers battled by themselves. It's no strategy. It's no good. Yeah. Man, so much chat. I can't keep up. I'll have to catch up. But, uh, yeah, I just maxed out my, uh, Gilded Arc. So, yeah, just, just be patient. Just keep trying. Don't, you know, don't try 20 times at once. Give it two or three, four, maybe five, five tries and then move on, man. We got burned that season. We got burned, man. Yeah, District 13's a mean, mean guy, man. He he picks on the big guys. Big guys should stay away from District 13. Delmino, yes, it is worth keeping Titans for the Pantheon. Yes, it is worth keeping him. If you did not see the videos that I posted earlier today, you might want to check them out. You reap the rewards of keeping them because you'll get unique relics. Uh, there are lower tier relics and there are higher tier relics as well. So Fetch has the uh, pleasure of having the update right now. He can probably speak a little bit more about it. Yeah, relic, relic inventory is maxed now, man. I got it max, maxed out full capacity. I think I have... I, I have all three stars and four star relics. I'm going to have to start fusing up, uh, start using some three stars for food. You have any relics versus archers? The only relics I think that are lost, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. Do you have any relics versus archers? I have the blood vial. <laughs> I have armor protection. Yes, oh yeah, thanks for bringing, bringing that up as well. The update has fixed the temple glitch, letting you have more titans than you're allowed to have. But, but you won't lose those titans. You'll be forced to fuse them before you can battle. Hey, Delmino, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, tr I try to have fun with it. But yeah, I'm like at almost 400 titans. I'm ridiculously over my limit of titans. But I'm not going to do anything until the next event, the next fusion event. Then, I, then I'm going to go crazy with it, man. I got a plan. Yeah, you're absolutely right, man. Siegfried is, is going to... That's Siegfried is going to be my garrison defender unless uh, Krothos is better. You can't collect Titans in your treasury until you come back under your limit. That's cool. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. What's this? Oh, Cream. Hey, good to have you, man. Hope uh, things have mellowed out for you. We'll see a little bit more of you now. Siegfried's archers are impossible to beat. No, you're wrong, District. All you gotta do is have Calvaracs. And all you do is just dump, dump the Skellies everywhere. And the Skellies do all the work for you. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen it myself. Um, 
just watch other videos, but yeah, I haven't done it myself. And this year, you're losing too many troops. Yeah, this the whole new it's the whole new game, man. Troop loss is part of the game now. What? Yeah, Sleazy P, the big guy. He got he uh he can show us how to do it with that uh Calvarax, man. He's got the big bad boy. But it's just crazy, yeah. You just drop the skeleton spells right on them and you know, there's nothing they can do. That's why it's OP in the amount of uh what, they give you uh 80 skeletons that's crazy man and then with his extra spells i guess they can carry like a dozen they can bring in a dozen uh raised dead spells that's 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 uh that's intense man you saw yeah we yeah we've all seen his video he just keeps keeps dropping them i just drop more man just drop more it's it's incredible i do think that they're gonna have to uh i hate to say it they're probably gonna nerf it man it's uh probably going to be changed I can't say it's fair hang on man I, I'm going to catch up I, I just got to losing troops look at that what I tell you man it's like every three or four battles you should re-up your troops keep them going this is why I'm going cheap in this year I need to go quick I need to go fast and dirty the battle time isn't that much greater. So yeah, all militia. Your troops can inspire. No, no soul boosters. Calvary is OP. Yes, he is. Brain does it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Subscribe, sub, 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 yeah. Rebel, you're waiting to get to cross a good city. Your tolling militia setup is 80%, 86% resist physical. It might work. It might work, man. That would be good to see. Okay, here we go. So fast you can have over 20 skeleton spells. Okay. That should win every battle. You should have no issues with that. <laughs> he got the mass castle. Oh, he's been around for a long time. He's like the king of DOT, man. By the way, if you didn't know, he is the uh, Mac Daddy, right? Yeah. The Oak. Hey, man. Good to have you. Yeah, I remember him on your garrison, man. You had a lot of, a lot of spearmen that did some damage to me. You sure did, man. That was a fun video. That was a, that was a fun battle. I had to come back with the proper troops, man, because you you were too much. Your Siggy was too much. Waves and waves of spearmen. That was nice, man. That was nice. You won't be nerf. Yeah, not for a while. <laughs> Tokyo. That's funny. No, you know, that's that's one event I didn't complete. And the other event that I wish I would have completed was Theros, man. I think, uh, man, Theros, I think he's a really good Titan. I think Theros is a really good Titan. On all the relics that came with that event, too, man, should have did the event just for the relics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're defending real good after the AI update, man. I'm stoked for you, man. I'm stoked for you, D-Oak. And, you know, I don't know if you've worked on your uh, leveling up your Siegfried. Because he was only on, what, level 43? And that's the funny thing, man. If you... Gosh, man. A low-level Siggy is powerful. A low-level Siggy with the right troop buffs, he is powerful, man. He is powerful. It's hard to beat. Nah, Sleazy's an old man, man. He's an old man like me. He is not. He's not a kid. The man makes money. That's all. 
My m oak. Oak, what level is your mamesh? Hey, soy puto. Thanks for subbing, man. I always appreciate when someone subs. Fills my heart with joy. It's like, that's so cool, man. People dig it. Just blows me away. <laughs> I'm an old man, man. I know, District. It's only it's only it's only in uh terms of numbers. I'm never old. I'll never be old. I just get a little tired, that's all. This is another thing. I, I hate when the Rangers don't know how to shoot around an object. It's like, come on, man. Just hit that thing. OG Chan. Yeah. No, see, that's, that's why when I beat my first Siegfried, that was a real that was a real battle. It was an achievement, man. It's an achievement to beat a good Siegfried. It's no joke, man. Siegfried is no joke. A low level Siegfried. I I haven't come across a maxed out Siegfried to go against. I, I don't think I will. I don't think I'll waste my uh, troops and time too hard. Too hard right now. I don't have enough uh, armor piercing or excuse me, armor protection. Armor. <coughs> Got to have like two hundred percent. Deal. You say got wrong skills for archers, but your spearmen can. Sl yeah, your spearmen are nasty, man. <laughs> uh, see, my my uh, Siggy has archer skills, so I'm stoked. I am excited. Fetch has no issues with Siggy. That's cool, man. Nasir used the Panthers. Yeah. <laughs> you put everything armor on it, man. I like I like seeing 138, 140, 150 armor. That's why I like seeing when I go against uh Siegfrieds, Oryx. You know, all them things. Even some Freyas, man. Those dude. Oh. Some of those uh, Paladins came back uh, hardcore, man. They came back hardcore. Yeah, you can't kite no archers, man. I don't know. Your troops got to get in fast against Siegfried's archers. If you can't get in there fast enough, man. You know, I answered the question on uh, one of Zade's videos recently. What's better, armor or health? And the actuality is the best thing to have is resist. You got to have the elemental resist, then armor, and then health. Like I said when I answered it, armor prevents... the prevents the initial impact of the damage health lets you take more damage but resist covers everything you gotta have the resist if you have armor and no resist whatever element is hitting you is going to take you out that's how i see it if i have if i go into a battle with high health and no resistance the health doesn't matter <laughs> Four hundred percent armor on your spearmen, you would you would uh, dominate, man. You can't. There's very yeah. There's very few relics that give you resist against ranged. Uh, like the protector gives resist against melee. The defender cloak gives you resist against uh, ranged. I think that's one of the few. Uh, Few relics that does that. That yeah, it does that. So that's why I love my defender cloak. If you can get a defender cloak, get yourself a defender cloak. Yeah, 
DL X skills cannot repeat, so you can't have two times armor on a SIG for the same troop. Interesting. Thank you, thank you again, Sofetch. By the way, the new relics in the Pantheon give elemental resist. Very nice. Again, check out the video that I put up uh, regarding the uh, relics. Thank Talon for those images. This is very cool. I wouldn't doubt it, man. He, he's he's got everything. See you, Nasir. Take it easy, man. Hey, Ron Gamer, waking up. Other side of the world. Have that tea, man. It's time. I'm going to take what? What do we have? I got, what, four more battles? About four more battles, man, and I got to call it a night. Let's see. Yeah, I'm at one hour. Wow, 851 subs. Highest ever. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Ron Gamer is another big boy. Got some good videos on his YouTube channel. Showing people the way. Using Earth. Using that Earth Titan Joran. He's got a wicked Ladega. Wow. You see that? That was cool. Yeah, it was real nice. <laughs> a shot behind me. So fast the new Norse gods relic you get is OP troop titan lightning damage three spells titan troop lightning resistance. Yeah, there's so many uh, relics right now. <laughs> Don't be jealous. There's so many relics right now that it's uh, it'd be nice if they just uh did maybe some extended uh, fusion or forging events. With a better uh, forging rate, because we all have a lot of uh, new relics to uh, to level up, man. That'd be a cool Titan to add to the uh, season rewards as well, Urkon. That's one we don't see, never see him. No Urkons for you. With his uh, pot belly. That's I would like any of those uh Urkon, Vixia. Those are two Titans I like to see in the season rewards. Urkon Vixia, maybe oh there's another one, I can't remember. Yeah, fetch uh the Lightning relic that gives you lightning spells. Someone did show a video with that. I forgot who it was. Maybe it was Sleazy. He had like a dozen lightning spells. It's crazy. It definitely uh, makes those uh, Titans a little bit OP for what they can bring to a battle. That's cool. That's cool. When you get a chance to post it, I will watch. I will check it out, man. That's so kind of you to ask. I ask from time to time. If I'm just raiding and I post a video of me beating you, it's, you know, nothing personal. <laughs> Toko Gyul. Tokyo, you're going to sketch some Titans? Nice. Yeah, two battles and I got called a wrap, man. Let's see. I don't even see where I'm at. 72. Oh, man, I'm almost there. We're at rank 18. We're, like, pushing it. We got two days to... We're trying to maybe hit the top 10. Trying to hit the top 10. Hey, Zalon. I saw you battling a little bit earlier, man. I was surprised you weren't streaming. We are hitting side by side. You were taking one. I was taking one. It's a tough grind, man. 
You found some baby lambs right next to me. Yeah, definitely top 50 for sure. Man, it'd be nice if we can hit the top 10. That would be real nice if we can do it. We just got to keep plugging away. Yeah, DL, that's a good point, man. It's going to be interesting to see uh, with the update how it changes. It's going to make a lot of this, uh, definitely, the game's getting harder, man. It's taking a lot more strategy to raid. It's not, it's not, uh, you, I don't know. You can't just do all auto raids, even with the champion. Nice. Thanks, Alon. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to get on, but I was able to, um, I felt bad though. I didn't check on ban to see if anybody was up, but I didn't get any notifications. So I just went for it, man. Gotta get gotta get a stream in for the event. Don't wanna miss it. Do not wanna miss it. And there's so much uh, good stuff going on right now. One more one more battle, guys. What's this? We'll just take this guy. We won't lose, right? Maybe we'll bring, uh, yeah, we'll just bring a few more. <laughs> there we go. So fast with, well, of course, man. Of course you can solo with Calvarax. Come on. He's OP. Yeah, I definitely agree, man. The game is getting more fun. It's much more realistic. Uh, it's just much more realistic in, in all the capacities of it. To have to uh, lose troops, to have to train troops, the troop training times, it makes it so, you know, if you're going to, if, if you're able, capable of speed rating and get a massive VP, you're going to have to be a good player, man. You're going to have to, you're going to have to earn, earn the walk. You just can't talk it. You're going to have to actually earn it. But the you know the one thing that is kind of funny though is uh when you look at the global alliances and you see who's on top if you're number 1 in the global alliance but you're like rocking it in masters and champion you know I I I can't give you as much props as if you were in legends and on top you know it's just the honest fact if if you're down there with a whole bunch of uh brand new noobs and, and you're camping on them you know, I don't know, man. There's no fun in that to me. Yeah, Zalon, Zalon is up, man. Everybody bust on over to Zalon. It's, uh, it's late over there, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm about done, guys. So we got Zalon and we got Shooter McGavin up for the rest of the night. Um, that's a good, what, a good, another good uh, at least two, maybe four hours of uh, DLT streaming. So, yeah, man. Thank you guys all for your time. Appreciate it. It's a good chat. It's a still a serious grind. We got two days and four hours, basically two days to get this done, man. So uh, what? I got eight thousand. I got four thousand souls a day. Anyways, guys and gals, as you know, as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care. Yes and yes. Good night, all. Take it easy.